Hey YouTube people. I recently did a video on how to charge an electric vehicle using a portable battery backup. One of the questions I received after posting these videos by several people was how I created this uh, dummy plug. Which the dummy plug, what that allows you to do is to bypass a ground fault error that you might run into when using either a portable battery or even a portable generator uh, such as those Honda EU units that a lot of people seem to really like. And uh, let me show you what that looks like. So, and this, this might happen on any number of electronic devices, but if I plug this in to this uh, portal generator, you can see that it gets angry at us. It says, we've got a power fault here. And basically what it's doing is it's saying, hey, I don't see a ground here. So no ground, it says I don't like that. So a way to bypass this is with uh, a dummy plug. And I will show you how I make this. We'll open it up and take a look. But just to see how it works, basically what it does is it connects the neutral and the ground and allows uh, the device to detect the ground unit which then allows the electronic device to actually say, hey, everything's okay, and we can continue on. This is useful not only for this EV charger, but also the Tesla chargers uh, that exist. And just generally, if you have a generator or a portable battery, you can do this kind of hack. So one thing I will say is, you, you know, I these checks are there for a reason. And while I do know that this unit is grounded internally, and I do know that it does work, do this at your own risk. Um, I am not a licensed electrician. I know enough to get myself into trouble, but you know, to consult with an electrician. That's all I'm going to say about that. But let's let's open up this little unit. I'll show you how you can build your own dummy plug using off-the-shelf parts from Home Depot. Okay, so let's open this up. I put this cover on it just to make sure that there was no slip-ups, that everything was fully protected, that nothing was going to get touched. But basically all you're looking at is a basic face plate cover and a standard uh, 15 amp or you may want to step it up to a 20 amp outlet here. And this is the same type of blue box that would go in your wall, uh, a new work box. So let's just go ahead and open this up. Okay, so I also have this cord here. This is basically the cord from a computer power supply, but you could basically use any cord that uh, is set up like this. And so you've got three wires. You've got the black hot, the white neutral, and the green ground. So you can see the ground that hits this pin, I've actually, is completely capped off. So that's completely capped off so you don't get any weird current going down this line um, that might screw things up uh, when you do this. So green is not doing anything. The black is going to the hot side, which look at your plug uh, instructions. Usually the hot's on the right and the neutral's on the left. So here's the money shot right here. So you've got the white hot and the ground, and you can see that the ground I've basically just taken a piece of copper wiring. I just stripped out, uh, you know, some just some standard copper, uh, probably 12 gauge wire, and uh, set it down on the ground, and then also terminated it to the neutral. 
and I chose not to actually hook this green up into here because I didn't want neutral flowing back out onto this pin if it wasn't connected to something. I didn't want it to touch anything. So uh, this is how you build a dummy plug. You can do this on any outlet. Um, once again, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, consult an electrician first, but this will allow you to trick generators or portable battery packs into delivering power when they think that there's no ground. So I uh, hope this helps you out and it helps you in your projects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you later.